This is the first uh, really successful military offensive by Ukrainian forces uh, as of today. Actually, it was a well-known fact since the start of the war in 2014 that Ukrainian forces are good at defending. It's been that way for years. Uh, but there has been no major offensive operation conducted for them. So we all knew, even within Ukraine, we didn't really know how tested our troops were. On the offensive, now it is clear that they are capable of successful offensive operations. So it is de definitely a major achievement on the Ukrainian side. Uh, it's about 70 kilometers deep into the Russian front line in a few days, which is, for this war, a really very fast pace. In the beginning of the war, when most of the Russian gains were made, I believe their pace was like 5 to 10 kilometers per day. So Ukrainians were pretty fast. They apparently the headquarters, the general headquarters of Ukrainian armed forces has found a weak point in the Russian defenses and been able to exploit that to break through and retake some territory. Uh, this does not yet, you know, I, I'm careful at saying that this is a total change of dynamics in this conflict so far, but clearly this is something that we haven't seen previously. So Ukrainian offensive success, first major retake, of territories, not really by Russians withdrawing, but by Ukrainians actually taking it away from them. It is obvious that six months into this armed conflict, not everything is going according to plan. Uh, quite a few uh, setbacks have been suffered by the Russian military. Uh, we can uh, uh, remember what happened in the areas uh, of the Kiev and Chernigov regions that the Russian military controlled, uh, in some other areas that the Russian military controlled and left uh, later on. Of course, what happened in uh, the areas of the Kharkov region that were under Russian military control mm -hmm. uh, in the past few days uh, is a serious setback for, for the Russian effort in Ukraine. But what is important to understand is that Russia cannot afford to lose this conflict. A loss, a military loss for Russia, would, uh, uh, would lead to untenable, absolutely untenable domestic political uh, consequences and foreign policy consequences for Russia. Russia has a lot of weapons and it has a large army. And it can make uh, the army that it has even larger, if it wishes to do so. So it is understandable mm -hmm. that uh, those who support the Ukrainian side uh, may feel excited about what happened mm -hmm. uh, in the Kharkov uh, region in the past few days. Mm -hmm. But uh, that excitement is uh, too premature for them.